that's good enough. We'll just put a few marks in up here. strong mark here we've left out well I've left out yeah this is proving a lot easier for me I can see what I'm doing with that white pencil I couldn't really see probably on it yeah you can see it gives a, a, a stronger mark doesn't it Pencil. The uh, pastel pencils and pastel blend in really well with this. Uh, this, whatever it's called, is, is going to be left on the paper, pastel matte paper. It, the pastels blend really well with this. So don't worry about that. And you could actually, if you wanted to, just take a bit off of the butter rubber before you actually draw it. You'll still be able to see the outline. But, uh, that's, that's very good. And then we've got some dark areas here. I know it looks it probably looks too like, oh, you know, I thought Trace and I was just doing the basic outlines, but if you're really going to make a good job of it, it's going to it'll save you so much time, honestly. It's probably worth it. Okay, you see, I can see just something going on here, which I've put in there just as a guide and these I'll make sure they're in yeah. we need to do this this bit here next then so we've got the I'm going to do all the dark bits on the on the paper here now they could be red they could be black they're red there's some dark black streaks through here but it's mainly you know, like a really ready Red and blonde, really. That's a nice streak to put in there. I do think I wasn't going to be doing this with every picture. I may not carry on doing this, but the uh, tracing on videos that I did, um, people really seemed to like them. You know, they were getting a lot of views and I think it's probably because, uh, well, I'm hoping it's because, um, I've shown you in detail how to trace on. Normally you don't see that. You just see, you know, the picture appears and it's all on there. Uh, some people do it in much more detail than others. Um, 
so uh, I think that's probably why. Anyway, I thought I'd try it for this one and just see what kind of uh, response it gets. I think if you see something right from the word go and you think, oh, it's tr traced on you, helped with that, uh, it's much more likely to make you feel that you want to do the picture. If you've traced on things before and it hasn't worked out for you, it, when you're seeing it on like this, maybe it'll make you think, oh, I, yeah, I think I'll have a go. I hope so, anyway. I hope so. Yeah, that's a little thing. Yeah. See how much bigger it looks. This is the same size. Look at that. It's incredible, isn't it? it just looks bigger. And it's because I've gone around the edge of his face. So these lines that you're seeing here, really in between all the white hairs. methodical about this than I am you'll be uh, you know you'll be streets ahead I'm not a methodical person even if I try I just I just can't do it uh, but if you're very careful about you know being methodical and just going over the whole thing carefully you won't leave anything out then This is proving much quicker, isn't it, with the pencil? Maybe that's why we don't see people tracing them out, because that is an issue. Maybe that's why you don't see it, because it's hard to see on the screen. But at least, you know, when someone's telling you what they're doing and why they're doing it, I think that's got to help. That's the whole thing about learning anything, I think. You need to know why, why you do things. Um, then you really absorb the information properly, I think. Well, I certainly do. I need to know why about everything. Very dark in here. So we might as well put in these little black bits here. This is going to be such fun to do this picture. Absolutely gorgeous. So we can see, look, we've missed a bit out here. I have. So that's his nose. Yeah, there's a whole bit missing out of here. That's his black. That line there is that black bit there. So there's a bit missing up here. That's 
better, isn't it? So we want to put some lines in underneath that. Because you'll think, what the, what the hell is that? There. So, some dark mark, marks in there. They're the dark red. That's, we've already done that. Little black tips. So, to be careful here, just go over those bits, not outside of them. Needs to be very clear around his mouth. There's the other side of his nose is just there. Just going through there like that. And there's another another black mark. Not the very bottom, it's just kind of going through there. And then we've got this other black mark. So I'm just going right over these marks because they're black. And we'll just go around the edge of that white, white highlight on his nose. Yeah, that's. That's a dark area, but this is the edge for that highlight and then into that nose there. And then I did put that mark in there because that is a dark area. So we could just colour that over a bit. So we're using the pastel mat as a colour now. These little, there's some lighter bits in there, you could just mark out where they are. Yeah, just coming through here. I'm not going to put these marks in because I'll, I'll do them while we're drawing, I think. Okay, there's some key bits here that we can darken up around his eye.
get this line in here, I think. It's quite a light bit there. Kind of when you're checking for things, just kind of like a, get a bit of an oversight on it really. I can see that we've missed, I've missed bits out here that will be useful to put in. And there's a kind of bit, bit missing in here. No, that, that's there, but this isn't here. So, as I've said to you, it's not, it's really not worth rushing this bit. out here that would be helpful. Now, these are his. It's not filled in there. It's quite a nice curl marker on either side of that. Well, you've got to be careful of when you're doing the hair, I think brings to mind in some of my early pictures because I'm a hairdresser I really wanted to <gasps> I tended to want to give them a bit of a co foire job you know uh, and they looked like they'd had a shampoo and set or something it just it doesn't work you really got to I think personally I like my animals to look a bit scruffy and, you know, real, natural, not like they've just come out of the poodle parlour. That's just my opinion. And when I draw an animal, I want them to look like an animal. I don't want them to look like they've been in the shop all morning being done. I like them to look happy, natural, carefree, and happy little look in their eye. Not all worried, thinking, oh God, they're going to take me off to the bloody parlour again. Oh, I know, you do see though, don't you? You do see on the internet, uh, in various places, the people do treat their dogs like babies, which is that's great, it's lovely. And the dogs do seem to enjoy a bath. They do seem to enjoy it. It's probably because they don't know any different. Um, but gosh, people never used to wash their dogs every five minutes. And if they got a haircut, it was just trip, trimmed around their eyes. We've left out this key line here that is body line, which is is coming in, I think, into the picture. I'm sure I'll put it in. Because there's all the all these little hairs in here, which will give it a bit of life in this black patch. It wouldn't look right without this bit, you know, the, what would you do with all this? It would look daft. So it's got going really. I always give these 
things a bit of thought before I before I actually decide on a picture whether it's going to work or not and how I'm going to do it. put something in here, just maybe lighten it up a bit. There's something here and there's a white spot there, which I don't know, I, don't, I, I just mark where it is. I don't really need it. And here, I've got some lines going across here, black lines. missing. I need to that one. That's better. And we've got a little black patch missing there. I'm sure you'll make a much better job of this than I will. Than I do. Unless you've got a brain like mine, and then you'll be you'll be all over the place like this. Yeah, it's quite a detail, quite a detailed portrait. This, it's quite a lot on there. I think we're missing some things here. This is reminding me of a picture I did before um, of Bob Dylan. He had uh, a very untidy hairstyle. It was probably a photograph that had been taken while he was on a film set or something. And he was, I think he was play, playing Ned Kelly or someone uh, from a cowboy film. And um, uh, all his hair was curly, very curly. But it looked, it was meant to look like it hadn't been touched for um, months or weeks. And it was all tangled up. And I really couldn't find a good, easy way of doing that. Just had to try and attempt to draw it on. It took me ages. Um, it looked okay in the end, but it, I wouldn't want to do it again. Let's say that. I wouldn't want to tackle that again. This is just reminding me of that. This isn't the same. It, it won't be as bad. Trust me, it won't be as bad. It'll be all right. It'll be okay. It'll be okay as long as you don't make him look like he's been to the Google parlor. Puppies don't get their hair cut for a while anyway, do they? So, he may never have had his hair cut yet. Okay, there's a, I think there's a quite an important line going through there. I've got that one in. Um, got that one in. Okay, I think we can we can leave it at that. I think um, if we've missed 
missed any bits out, I think we'll be all right. We can, we can get on okay from here, I think. Yeah. As long as you keep looking at your picture while you're drawing, you'll be all right. I just like to put these bits in. That I haven't put those in yet. These little bits here. And maybe just a bit more black on the edge here. Just to give us a guide there. Oh, my easel's moving back. Mind of its own, this easel. It really has. Uh, I'm not pressing hard because I can't. If I press that hard, um, you see this shaking about all over the place, which I'm sure you've had a bit of a taste of already. So um, it doesn't take much once it starts going. It makes you feel a bit, oh, I've had a drink, or I've had, it feels like you've had a sherry, and you think, oh, okay, the easel's at it again. Moving on back. Okay. Right then, so it's pretty well there, isn't it? Really? It's got to colour it in now. Just colour it in and keep looking at your picture. There's a line coming through here that we can put in, coming down to his eye there, that will be useful. Fun, I think. Can't wait to see it finished. It's going to be good. I've got a little black mark there. So yeah, they're just kind of dotted in, aren't they really? That's it pretty well. Okay, I'm going to leave it there now. Okay, so um, I'll try and get in the <laughs> I bet all of you think I've got no hair, don't you? Because I'm kind of cut off up here. Um, anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you don't want to watch this, just whiz through it and then we'll get to the colouring bit next. Okay, bye for now.